Uh, hello and welcome back to another Camel Sump Middle School Design Tech video tutorial. This is our second uh, laser engraving video in the installment. Um, in this video we're going to be discussing importing an image and setting uh, engraving um, speed and power settings um, for the engraver. Um, I've got some text here um, that I've placed. Uh, this is all based on our previous tutorial. If you don't know how to do that, you should go watch the first tutorial. Um, all of our images are going to come from uh, web searches uh, today. And so what I've done is I've opened up a Chrome window already, and I've done an image search for unicorns, because I want to engrave a unicorn today. Okay. There's one piece I want to add to this setting, though, and I want to look for files that are .jpg files. Okay. There's another file extension out there called a PNG. PNGs will work, but they're a little bit more temperamental for us. So for simplicity for today, I'm going to search for JPEG images of unicorns. Okay. Now, I am going to select this unicorn right here. Okay. I like the shape of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this unicorn, and I'm going to come down to save image as, and I'm going to left click on that. Okay. I want to make sure that this does say JPEG right there. And unicorn, black silhouette, clip art, free stock. The free stock photo is a good thing to see in there. And I'm also going to make sure that desktop is selected, okay? Because we want to quickly save this to our desktop and use it from there. So I'm going to click save. Okay. I'm going to reopen my Boss Laser software. And the import button is up here in the upper left. Okay, it's a little picture with an arrow pointing to it. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to come down to my JPEG unicorn file. There's the preview. I'm going to hit open. And here comes my unicorn. You can see that my unicorn is quite enormous. This blue arrow right here represents the corner of my project. My unicorn just absolutely overtook everything. So first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to resize this guy. Make him nice and small. Then I can start working with him. Okay. I'd like to introduce you to a new tool in this software. It's the preview button. And this is going to give you an idea of what things are going to look like when we engrave them. It's up here. Little computer monitor right here. Click on that. And it's going to give you your words and your unicorn. Now, interesting to note as we're looking at this, see how the words are a crisp line and the unicorn is filled in. We have two different functions happening right here with our laser engraver. We have a cut setting for the letters, and we have an engraved setting for the unicorn. Now, I want everything engraved. Okay, so we're going to get out of here. You'll notice on the, the right-hand side here, we have our workflow chart. Okay, and this is telling us what colors are assigned to different mechanisms in the machine. Now, if I came over here and clicked my text, and I come down to the bottom left and I color it blue. Blue is known in Boss Laser as an engrave, a scan color. Okay? Think about things in terms of layers. Unicorn is one layer. It's got its own settings. Okay? It's a black colored bitmap, BMP bitmap. It is going to scan. If you come down here, it's showing at a power of 30% and a speed of 300 millimeters per second. Okay, We'll talk about how the laser works before you watch this video, so these numbers should mean something to you at this point. Now if I come and click this one right here, you'll see that it's got a slightly different setting. Okay, Right now I am looking at the settings for my text, which are blue. It's saying 30% power at 100 speed. Now for your cutting boards, everything scanned, everything engraved, needs to be 30 speed, and 300 speed. Okay, so I can double click this, I can open this, change this to 300, and click OK. Just double check your work before you're done. Click these boxes here and make sure that they all show a 30 and a 300 down here. Okay, so we've imported an object, we've set things to scan, let's check our image. Okay, that looks good to me. Now, I like this, except what I want to do is I want this whole thing 
aligned perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the big box around it. I'm going to use my center justification tool. So I know that's great. And then I want the whole thing in the bottom right corner. So here's a new tool. This is a tool that allows us to treat two layers as one and move them in a collection. Okay. One word to the wise. Before you use this tool, make sure your text is finalized. Because once we do, we, there's no more editing your text. Okay? So, hello world is what I want to say. I'm going to select both objects again, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to use this colorful tool called the group tool. And I'm going to group these together. So now when I move them, everything's going to come together. That's set in for my edges nicely. I'm liking how that looks. This is the rest of my cutting board. Now the preview is only going to show you the engraving. Aha! Uh -huh. We must ungroup, which is the next button over, before we preview. Now the preview is only going to show you uh, what's being engraved. It doesn't show you its proximity to the rest of the board, but this is the image that you can reference to say, okay, this is how big I want it, this is where I want it on the cutting board, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's how to import images.